All right, good afternoon. Thanks everyone for joining us. My name is Jen Kitzmiller. I'm a meteorologist here at the National Weather Service. And I'm glad you all joined us today because we have a, a big winter storm that's going to be moving into Western Montana and North Central Idaho starting here on Sunday, Saturday night even. Um, and continuing into early next week. So we wanted to give you just a little bit of an overview on some of the, uh, the conditions and some of the concerns we have with this winter storm. And so to get started, I just wanted to show you a timeline um, as to when some of these changes are going to be occurring and what our concerns are throughout throughout this system. Um, this is going to be a series of impacts. The first is a cold front that is uh, going to be moving through Saturday night to Sunday. This is a very strong cold front. Um, it's going to initially lead to some substantial snow amounts for the mountains and mountain passes. And we'll be seeing a transition from um, rain or a rain-snow mix to snow in all the valley locations by Sunday afternoon into Sunday evening. We'll also be looking at some breezy winds, so blowing and drifting snow could be an issue on some of the passes. As we transition into Sunday evening and Monday, um, this is when the, the cold air with that initial front starts to move in. Um, so this is a time frame we could start seeing possibly some ice on roadways. Um, we're also going to be transitioning during this time to where all valley locations, even down into the lowest valleys, will be seeing snow, possibly moderate to heavy at times. Um, so that combination of snow, both in valleys and mountains, possible ice formation, um, this looks like a period that we could have some difficult to possibly dangerous travel, um, especially for the morning commute on Monday. Monday night to Tuesday, this is when a secondary push of actual Arctic air arrives. Um, so with that, we're going to be having another push of gusty winds, um, some snow along that front, um, and possibly some dangerous wind chills. Um, and again, travel could be impacted by ice on the roadways. So um, another potential high impact period. As we get into Tuesday, Wednesday, this is going to be our coldest time frame. Um, so we'll discuss exactly how cold we're going to be here in the coming slides. And then Thursday into the weekend, we are expecting temperatures to slowly moderate, but it is still going to be cold enough to snow. Um, and there are possible waves of, of uh, weather systems that could bring more snow to both valleys and mountains. So that's our kind of timeline, some of our concerns. Now I'm going to go into a little bit more detail on some of these things. And the first thing I'll start with is the potential snowfall amounts. Um, and I'm going to start with the focusing in the Saturday night into Sunday period. Um, at this time frame, we're going to be seeing moderate to heavy snow developing in the mountains and down to many pass levels, mountain pass levels. Um, so I have here in the graphic, this is a forecasted snow amount um, during this time frame. And you'll see a lot of our mountain passes could see anywhere from six inches, possibly even up to a foot in some locations. Um, so with that, there will also be some pretty breezy west winds, particularly in the higher terrain, um, which could lead to some low visibility in the mountains and on the mountain pass levels. Um, valleys are going to be kind of tricky in this time frame. It looks like um, a lot of locations may start out as a rain or maybe a rain-snow mix and then gradually transition from northwest to southeast to snow through the day. Um, it looks like the locations that have the best chance of possibly seeing rain would be generally south of Missoula. Um, and so in those locations, there, there could be some rain into Saturday morning. Although one thing that um, may be a little bit of a limiting factor on rainfall amounts is the fact that there will be some pretty strong winds for downsloping. So we're not expecting a lot of rainfall to, to come out of this, but, but there could be some, some rain in those southwest Montana valleys in particular. Um, northwest Montana, you have a little bit better chance at staying snow through most of this event. 
As we move on into Sunday evening and Monday, this is really that period that we're really concerned with because this is the time frame when all valleys should be receiving snow. Um, it's a very strong cold front coming through, so we'll see rapid change in temperatures during this time frame. Um, moderate to heavy mountain pass level snow will continue, but now we'll also be seeing snow in the valleys. Um, this storm total snow that I have um, pictured here is just for that Sunday evening into Monday time frame so you'll notice the mountain passes to continue to get hammered with some potentially heavy snow and then we've got snow down into the valleys um, and so this is just an estimate on what we could be seeing we're still fine-tuning those amounts particularly for the valleys um, but this is going to be a period of change and a period where we could really start seeing some widespread travel impacts by Monday morning, um, the temperatures will have dropped off pretty significantly across the area. Um, so this is a forecast of what we're looking at for, for low temperatures come Monday morning. Um, and you will see a lot of areas are going to be down into the teens um, for temperatures. So it's a very rapid, rapid change that we're going to be seeing here. Um, any moisture on roadways um, could start causing a problem in the form of ice. We'll also be expecting some snow on the roadways. So we're expecting travel for the morning commute on Monday to be pretty difficult across the area. Now as we get into the Monday afternoon into Tuesday morning time frame, this is when we are going to start seeing that push of the really cold Arctic air from the north. Um, and so during this time frame, we'll be expecting gusty north to northeast winds, especially across western Montana. Um, there could be some variations in what the exact direction is. Our forecast models are showing um, slightly different pushes of air depending on which model you look at. Um, but either way, we will be expecting to see some gusty winds. Um, so things like blowing snow could be an issue. Um, there will be some snow setting up along that Arctic boundary as well. So um, this could be another time frame of some pretty big travel issues. Um, I have some graphics here I wanted to show you some rough timing on where the Arctic front may be um, as we transition from Monday afternoon into Tuesday. Um, and so I'll just put these up here so you can get kind of a feel. These are rough estimates of, of that Arctic front. Um, we're still fine-tuning the timing, but this is currently what we're looking at. Um, and so with that potential for much colder winds, some Gusty, gusty winds, much colder temperatures, um, so blowing snow. This also could be a period of concern due to the rapid changing temperatures. Um, any areas that still happen to have moisture on the roadways um, could be very much affected uh, by a flash freeze type scenario. So this is kind of our second high impact period that we'll be looking at as far as the roadways go. Now, how cold is it going to get? This is an estimate of some of the coldest temperatures we currently have in the forecast. It looks like Tuesday into Wednesday morning is going to be some of the coldest time frame during this outbreak. Um, and so we'll be looking at highs in the teens and even in the single digits up across northwest Montana on Tuesday. Um, and Valley temperatures by Wednesday morning in a lot of locations could be down into the single digits, even below zero. Um, I, you'll see that on the graphic in the right there. Those are the Wednesday morning forecast of low temperatures. Um, valley locations that do receive a fair amount of snow cover could actually even get colder than what's depicted here. Um, but that's going to vary just depending on how much snow cover we end up on, on the valley floors and things like that. Um, the other thing to keep in mind on Tuesday is that we will continue to have some, some wind in play. So our uh, wind chills could be a factor with below zero wind chills Tuesday, even into Tuesday evening. So that, that's a lot of information for you guys. Um, this is a graphic we put together to kind of try to summarize when the, uh, the biggest impacts from winter weather conditions might be occurring based on a regional scale. Um, you'll see on across northwest Montana and west central Montana, um, those are the areas where we have 
um, highlighted possibly in extreme impact levels. Um, that means that things like ice, snow, potential flash freeze on roadways could make travel extremely treacherous um, during those time frames. Um, around Tuesday morning, how treacherous it's going to be is going to very much depend on what's left on the roadways as far as moisture goes. So there may not be a ton of confidence in just how bad that time frame would be, but it's, it's definitely um, a, a concern. So we wanted to, to point that out to you guys. So with that, that's kind of the highlights. I know I presented a lot of information, so at this point I'll be happy to take any questions you might have.